Hello and welcome to Victoria's Cantina, where today we're having a look at the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Archive Anakin Skywalker from Revenge of the Sith. I like what Hasbro's been doing with the Archive line. I haven't necessarily agreed with all the releases thus far, or not doing enough for some of the new releases, but I am glad that they are getting older figures back out in circulation. So I picked this up from Amazon.com. I have seen it at least once at retail at Target. And I know the wave is also hitting Walmart because I've seen parts of the wave there. So they are trickling out. All right, so here we have the two Black Series Anakins that have been released thus far. On the left, we have our brand new Archive Anakin, and on the right, we have our Black Series Anakin from 2014. Basically, these are both the same, except for some paint differences. All the accessories, I think, are the same. We'll do a comparison of them a little bit later in the video. So looking at Anakin up close, you can see the figure in there quite well. Uh, some really nice new artwork of the character right there. I think that looks pretty awesome and uh, your usual warnings, archive, a black and silver themed packaging. It's got his name there on the side. Here is the UPC at the bottom. And at the back, it references that original figure from 2014. And it says, Anakin, now Darth Vader, turns to the dark side and battles Obi-Wan Kenobi in a lightsaber duel on the lava planet Mustafar. And uh, all the usual legal information there. And uh, there's a larger look at that very nice image from the front. Okay, I'm gonna take a moment to get Anakin unboxed. When we come back, we'll take a closer look. All right, so here's Anakin out of the packaging. And uh, one thing I gotta say really quick is that I love how the arms conform to the sides of his body. That's uh, an issue on quite a few figures. It's really nice that if you just pull his arms towards his torso that they stay in place and they don't bulge out. So really cool. And uh, you know, I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. I think already this is a markedly improved figure over the 2014 release. And I think part of that stems back to 2014 because they actually did a really good job on the sculpt. I've never had a problem with the proportions or the physique. I think that it very much looks like Anakin's body. Even the sculpting of the costume has been nice this whole time. It's just that they've used this really glossy plastic for the first release, and it seems like that kind of translated over to this release as well. We will compare them once again, but yeah, that shiny plastic kind of bugs me. But yeah, I mean, even from the side view, I mean, this does look like Hayden Christensen. So let's go ahead and take a close-up look and uh, see what else is different. All right, so as we take a look at the figure, I do add a note, we are under studio lighting, so you are going to see some shiny parts of the figure that... If I didn't have it under these bright lights, you wouldn't notice quite as much, but uh, that's why he looks kind of sweaty, I guess, like kind of glossy, but if I pull it closer and angle it a little bit differently, you'll see that that kind of goes away just depending on how you orient the figure and what kind of lighting you have him under. Um, I think this looks good. Does it look perfect? It does not look perfect, but it looks better than it did before. Now, as I noted, I think the sculpt is pretty much there. I mean, this even has the nose right. <laughs> um, the cheekbones look pretty accurate, the lips, the eyes, the eyebrows. I especially like it from this angle. I think like when you look at it from his left side, this especially looks like Hayden Christensen. The hair looks very nice. It's nicely textured, nicely sculpted. As far as the paint goes, the eyes look nice. They definitely nailed the eye color. I feel like they do kind of get lost a little bit when you're looking at the figure, especially from a little farther away. Uh, and that is one thing that kind of contrasts with the original release. But it does look a little more natural, I think. Uh, there's a little bit of shadowing under his eyelids. Uh, the lips are nicely done. Uh, his scar is filled in just a little bit with some darker paint. And uh, the, there is a little bit of bleeding. If you look at the hairline, like right where his bangs lie. Uh, it looks like there is a little bit of paint that is run over onto the forehead. A little bit of a bummer, but it's kind of hard to find perfect figures. Um, the hair, though, looks really nice. Like I said, it's very really nicely sculpted. It's really nicely painted, and it's basically like a dark brown color with um, some kind of some darker highlights that you can kind of see on there. So that looks really cool. Now the rest of the body, uh, his neck looks good. It looks it looks to be practically the same color as the face. Maybe there's just a tinge of a darker color to it, but it's very slight. Uh, the costume though looks really nice. I think it's sculpted awesomely. Even if you look at the tabards right here, like there is some texture that's sculpted into them. That looks good. Some nice detail that you can see in his vest or his tabard or whatever you want to call it. Um, his sleeves are also pretty nice. You can see there's some texturing going on there as well. 
and that's on both of them. The glove looks really nice, some really nice painted detail with the bronze accents. Same with the belt. It's got a nice dark wash to it to bring out the detail in the leather, and that looks pretty cool. And uh, of course, you got like the copper details and the silver and the black. Uh, that looks pretty nice. Quite happy with the way that actually turned out. And um, he does have soft goods underneath the uh, tabard, so you do have that there, and that kind of helps with articulation. Uh, the legs look pretty simple, but you know, decent enough. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot to see on them. And then the boots look pretty good as well. I think they did a good job sculpting the boots. You can see a little bit of detail there. And uh, there's the bottom. And uh, the soles of the boots are actually really nice. I like how they actually didn't cheap out and just make them flat. They actually sculpted like the soles of the boots. So that is pretty nice. All right, so let's talk articulation. So the figure, completely the same as before. So you do have a ball pin at the very top of the head and uh, it enables you to get a pretty good range of movement side to side. Tilt, not really, but you can look down and you, can, you can't really look up, but you can look down thanks to the bend that he has uh, underneath the head. For the shoulders, he has the same insert molded joints he had before, so you can rotate him, get him out. At the elbows, he's got the same thing, and at the wrists, you can rotate him, you can pull him forward and back, and the right one also goes backwards and forwards. Here at the torso, you get a ball joint, so, you know, pretty good movement all the way around. At the hips, uh, you do have you do have some pretty good joints in there that don't do a full split. And I mean, it's nice that he can, you know, move outward because of the soft goods, but ultimately he doesn't really move all that much. Uh, you can go forward quite a bit, not all the way, but a good, good amount. And then you have swivels at his thighs. Uh, here at the knees, he does have double bends. And then at the ankles, uh, you have your uh, rocker hinges. So you can bend that up and down and pivot it because it does have a ball at the back. So overall, it is really nicely articulated, uh, pretty much in line with most of what we see from Black Series. Anakin does come with his lightsaber. I think it's the same lightsaber we had before. The sculpt looks the same. The paint details look the same, but maybe a little bit better. And uh, you do have this medium blue blade that is affixed to the lightsaber hilt. Now you can pull it out. It just comes out fairly easily like that. There's actually a peg on the back of the lightsaber hilt that just slots into his belt right there. Get in just like that. And you just push it in and it seems to fit pretty nicely onto the figure. And then of course you have his angry Sith face head sculpt, which is also decent looking. Uh, I didn't really like it before. I think it looks a little bit better this time around though. It looks a little bit better this time around and he does have the red eyes. It's kind of hard to see them. Like I said, on these newer photo reel head sculpts, the eyes kind of get lost a little bit, but they are definitely like a, like a dark red if you look at them in person. And the rest of the detail on the head is pretty good. And uh, the hair is a little bit more matted than it is on the regular head. And uh, it's still sculpted nicely. It's still painted very nicely using the same tones and hues. And uh, he's got a little bit more of a scowl on his face this time around. So you just pop off the head like that. There is your ball pin at the top. And we'll take the alternate head and snap it on just like that. And uh, looking at it here like this, like I actually think it looks really good. Like just the angle at which I have his head just kind of, you know, tilted ever so slightly forward. Uh, it looks like he's really looking into the camera and I think that's pretty awesome. This is definitely his you underestimate my power look. All right, all right, all right. So let's go ahead and take a look at both of these figures side by side. And oh, boom. All right, here are the two releases side by side and LOL. These look pretty different. If you look at the one on the left, he's a lot more plasticky looking, he's a lot more shiny. And gosh, even though they're the same sculpt, I mean, it really goes to show how much paint can make or break a figure. Uh, like I said, it's always been a really nice sculpt. It's just taken improved uh, paint techniques in order to bring that out. I do think that despite the fact that the new one is also pretty glossy looking, it's not as glossy as the original. And I think you can especially see that here at the back. There's just like a lot more of a shiny quality to the original release. And yeah, I mean, if you have the original figure, you absolutely need the re-release. Sell your old one. I don't even know what I'm going to do with that. Maybe I'll keep it for archival purposes. Get it? Archival. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there's really no debating which one <laughs> looks better. I mean, that looks more like a toy. This still looks like a toy, but it looks like a better toy. And as I like to say, better is better. 
Here's a comparison of the two figures side by side. And once again, I mean, no contest. <laughs> the new one is a lot better. Yeah, I mean, I think the easiest way we can sum it up is that and yeah, I think the best way we can sum it up is that the one on the left looks like Frodo and the one on the right doesn't look like Frodo. And uh, here we have a comparison of the three Anakin figures. Uh, of course, Black Series are on the left and the one on the far right is the SH Figure Arts release with the Sith head. That's the only head that I'll display that figure with. The other ones don't look good at all. They look a little bit too anime and uh, not realistic enough. So I keep the Sith head on that figure like constantly. Uh, you can see that the figure arts is just a touch shorter. That's not really unsurprising. You can extend the legs to make him a little bit taller, but I uh, didn't want to do that. Uh, you can see that the figure arts also has much duller plastic, which I am a fan of. However, I don't think the detail is quite as rich as it is in the Black Series figure, interestingly enough. And uh, the figure arts looks very orangey. I mean, it kind of literally looks like he's on Mustafar and his skin is just reflecting the glow of the lava. Maybe that was their intent, maybe not, but I mean, looking at them side by side, and I think it's really hard to promote it over the Black Series archive because, I mean, even like I was saying, there's more sculpted detail in the tabards than there are in the figure arts. I think it's actually the opposite for the sleeves because if you look at the sleeves on this one, they're very textured, like that undershirt is really nicely detailed, but then the pants, not so much, and then the boots, not so much either. But then you look at something like this and those tabards are just really nicely textured. The sleeves are decently textured, not as much as the figure arts and the pants are about the same. I think the boots even look better here because like I said, they actually sculpted out the soles on the boots here and on the figure arts, they didn't even bother to do that. I mean, this looks better to me. So uh, yeah, I like the grippy boots. All right, and here are the other heads on the two black series Anakins alongside the figure arts with the same head and yeah, I mean, looking at the middle archive figure, it's just hard to justify spending, you know, $60. I think that's about what it costs, $60 for the figure arts when you can spend 20 and get the Black Series, which in some ways may not be better, but in a lot of ways is, especially in terms of price point. So yeah, I mean, if you have the original upgrade to the archive, if you have the SH figure arts, uh, it's up to you. Maybe you want to stick with that, but if you don't, then absolutely go with the Black Series archive figure. That is the clear winner here in my view. Now regarding the lightsabers, even though they are the same, you can see that the paint apps on the archive version right here in my right hand are a little bit cleaner. They've tightened them up just a little bit so they look a little bit less sloppy. However, unfortunately, the hilt is still as rubbery as it was before, which is kind of a bummer. I was hoping they were gonna fix that, but uh, they didn't. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. This is the Hasbro Star Wars, the Black Series Archive, Anakin Skywalker. Overall, you guys, I am thoroughly pleased with the way that this figure turned out. I didn't mind the original. I wasn't a huge fan of it, but that was mostly because of the waxy looking plastic and how awful the faces were painted on both heads. This time around, Hasbro dialed in their photoreal paint technique and they did a really good job updating the figure. Everything else about it that was good is still good. The things that were bad about it before have been improved. And I think that's what we all wanna see with these archive releases is have reasons to buy them again if you already have them. Uh, and if you don't, have a reason to get them now. The paint isn't perfect. There's a little bit of slop on his forehead, leaching over from his bangs. It's not the end of the world, but it is there. The alternate head though looks pretty good. I'm not really seeing any flaws on that. However, it would be nice to be able to see these in the package. That way you know what you're getting when you buy it. I also want to remark the joints seem a little bit tighter on this figure than they were before, which is nice. He still stands fairly well. I think the grippy boots maybe help to some degree, possibly, but it depends more on how you pose it, I think. Sometimes he falls over, but it really depends on how you have him posed. You still get the lightsaber. It's still a little bit rubbery, just like it was before, which is kind of a bummer. I wish they would have fixed that, but I guess you can't have everything. And at the end of the day, if you haven't picked up an Anakin yet in the six inch scale, uh, this is a perfectly suitable release. I'm really happy for the most part with everything that Hasbro did in updating this figure and bringing it into 2019. For $20, it's an awesome deal. Go out and get it. I think I'm gonna get another one. Why? I don't know. Probably just because I like it. All right, my friends, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think? What is the reigning supreme leader best in the universe Anakin here? Share your thoughts down below. As always, I'd like to thank you for tuning in to Victoria's Cantina. Until next time, bye-bye.